Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Josip Pogrebiski and Efim Gala. This is a game from the Ukraine Championship played in Kiev in 1950. Pogrebiski had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening, maybe. Knight to f6, knight to c3, g6, d4, bishop to g7, knight to f3, d6. White to move, Pogrebiski's friends told him to avoid playing against Gela's king's Indian defense and to stick to English opening. So instead of playing the standard e4, Pogrebiski played e3, knight from b to d7, bishop to e2, castling, queen to c2, e5. So black pawn structure is the standard king's Indian defense structure. d takes on e5, d takes on e5, b3, rook to e8, bishop to a3, e4, knight to d2. It looks like that black is going to lose the pawn on e4. Knight to e5, rook to d1, knight from f to g4. White to move, this is the critical moment. Pogrebiski was considering castling king's side. Instead, he decided to win the pawn on e4. Let's take it back. So, if castling, he didn't like queen to h4 move. After h3, knight to f6. So this position was not to his liking. Instead, he played knight from d, takes on e4. Queen to h4. Knight to g3. Castling has a tiny downside, and that is queen takes on h2. Back to our game. Knight to g3. Bishop to f5. e4. Bishop to e6. Bishop to c5. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Gela, play the move. That looks very, very wrong. And that is knight takes pawn on h2. This surely looks wrong because the black knight is now pinned. Can white take an advantage of it? The game continued. Bishop to e3. Let's take it back. If knight to f1, intending to win the knight, then knight from h to f3, check. And after g takes on f3, queen takes rook. Back to our game. So in this position we have bishop to e3, f5. Very natural move. Black wants to open the e-file. Queen to c1. What is the purpose of this move? Can you see the purpose of this move? Gela played knight to f7. If a random move, then bishop to g5. And the black queen is dead. So we have knight to f7. Bishop to d3. The idea is to walk the white king to the queen's side. And win the knight on h2. Black must act fast. f takes on e4. F on c takes on e4. Bishop to f5. King to d2 as planned. Rook from a to d8. White to move. F3 was played. If king to c2. This is what Gela had in mind. Rook takes knight on e4. After knight takes rook. Are you ready to see the move? Then queen takes on e4. After bishop takes queen, bishop takes bishop check, rook to d3, rook takes rook, and black wins. Back to our game. So we have f3, intending king to c2, maybe. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Gela played rook, takes bishop, kaboom, check. King takes rook. Black played the move and white resigned and the move is Queen takes knight on g3. Pogrebiski resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. King to c2. Rook takes on e4. F takes on e4. 
Queen takes on g2, check. Rook to d2. Bishop takes on e4, check. King to d1. Queen takes rook, check. King to e2. Queen to f3, check. King to e1. Queen to f1, check. Mate. Wow. Amazing game by Gela. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.